Hello artists, today we are going to take your name and turn it into a beautiful abstract work of art. Alright, we're going to start by writing the letters in your name and they're going to be big. You want them to touch the edges of the paper or connect to another letter. Now, they don't have to be in a straight line. It's actually better if they're all sort of wonky and crooked. Right now I've written this Mac and it, it's kind of wonky. Alright, now it's time to talk about painting. But before we do that, let's talk about how to take care of your paintbrush. Uh, you want to be kind to your paintbrush so that your painting looks as good as it can be. So try to keep the paint in the hair of the paintbrush. Don't chew the handle because that's just gross. Don't store the paintbrushes upside down or smash the hair on the paper because that really wrecks the bristles and you won't like the way it paints. Alright, if you take care of the paintbrushes, they'll live to paint another day. Alright, so I'm starting here and I'm not actually painting the letters. What I'm going to do is I'm painting the shapes that the letters have created. So I'm going to start with the dark blue. You can start with whatever color you want, but I'm going to paint I think everything that I want blue first so I don't have to wash the brush just yet. Once I change color I have to make sure that I have washed that brush and that it is clean because I don't want to mix the colors on the palette. Alright, if you want to mix uh, colors you can do that but do it on a magazine page not in the palette that you're given. Alright, so you want to do a good job of filling in all of those spaces and I try to make it so that no two colors that are the same touch. Um, all right, so then once we've done that, then I let it dry a little bit and then I start outlining where the letters are with black paint. And uh, this might need, need a slightly smaller brush than the one you started with, but that's okay. We could switch brushes. Now you're going to fill up the whole thing and look at that. It's just coming alive. I love the black gold lines with those bright colors. I'm going to add a few little extra details. I think I'm going to use a little black swirl here. Maybe fill this space with some triangles, uh, some polka dots, because I do love polka dots, and some stripes. Uh, let's go back and put some more triangles in here, and maybe some wavy lines on the navy blue. There we go. And before you know it, you have created a beautiful abstract work of art just using your name. How cool is that? All right, I hope you have fun with this project. All right, go forth and be brilliant.